Uh, thank you, Ms. Os Osborne. It's a pleasure to uh, speak today under your chairmanship. May I give uh, particular uh, congratulations to my honourable friend, um, the member for Dover, who uh, I think has expressed the feelings of many, uh, millions of people across the country in what he's, he's said today. And as ever, his uh, speech uh, contained an enormous amount of research and good, and good fact, uh, facts as well. So uh, my, my uh, congratulations to you. Um, I'm only going to speak for a minute or so, um, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, because uh, I know there are other members who want to speak. And I just want to talk about two things. Firstly, regarding a father in my constituency uh, of Harlow, called Mr. Colin Richards, whose children have been denied <coughs> access to him. And it's a tragic case, which is why I believe the law must change. And second, as um, the, my honourable friend for Brigham Gould has said, I'm campaigning on behalf of the Grandparents Association, who actually have their headquarters um, in my constituency as well. And what uh, we are asking for is for children to have the legal right to letterbox access to their grandparents very simply, the right to send and receive cards at uh, birthdays and Christmas. Now, I've worked with um, Mr. Colin Riches to table an e-petition, number 23102. And his case is something I have raised many times in Parliament with the Leader of the House and others. The essential crux of his e-petition is that shared parenting, and I quote, should become a natural position in the United Kingdom. It is in the best interest of the child. The law should be there to protect children's relationships with both parents. It needs to show children that both their parents are treated with equality so that children who have been cared for by both parents and grandparents do not suffer the pain of a living bereavement. Now, I welcome that the government are looking into this, uh, most recently through the Family Justice Review, as mentioned by my honourable friend. And this review was a ratchet in the right direction because it accepted that more should be done to allow children to have a voice in proceedings. But whilst I welcome some of the uh, contents, it does not go nearly far enough to help a family such as Colin Richards. Now, I've had a very positive letter from um, the minister by chance that arrived today regarding my constituent, Mr. Richards. And in this letter... Um, you, you, uh, the, the Minister mentions um, that uh, uh, the review stops short of recommending a change in the law because of the risk that a change could both encourage litigation and could compromise the key principle of the Children Act 1989. Now, as has been already said, clearly the law is balanced too far in one uh, direction. It is weighted against fathers, it is weighted against grandparents, and we do need a change in the law in order to uh, redress the balance. I am grateful to the Minister for Children and Families, nevertheless, for his sympathetic response to my letter. And he says, and I quote, he will explore, the government will explore possible options for strengthening the expectation that both of a child's parents should be continued to be involved with child's care post-separation. I would ask if the Minister would meet with Mr. Riches and myself to discuss these issues more fully. Secondly, I just want to briefly ask the Minister about the work of the Grandparents Association. Um, last Thursday, I joined with my honourable friend for Brigham Gould uh, at number 10 Downing Street to hand in a petition with over 7,000 names calling for children to have the right to letterbox access to their grandparents, the right to send and receive cards on special occasions. And this is a very small but a symbolic thing, especially... Uh, in the run-up to Christmas. And sadly, across Britain today, thousands of children are denied any kind of access to their grandparents, even at birthdays and the holiday season. And often this is caused by family conflict. Again, to be fair, the government are looking at this issue and they had a very positive response from the Leader of the House last week when I raised this during uh, business questions. But if, if the Minister could give a clear commitment to look at this, it would be hugely welcomed by the grandparents in my constituency, grandparents association and millions of grandmothers up and down the land. It's a very tiny gesture, but it could transform the lives of many families. Ultimately, this is about the rights of children to know who their family are and to have a chance to communicate them. 
in the context of what the government is doing to support the family, surely this is the right thing to do. And both the issues I've, ra I've raised fit very much in what uh, we said as an opposition party. So I very much hope that we will be able to do something in the months and years ahead. Uh, order not all